All right, I'm here with head coach Tim Abney of the Lincoln tennis team. Coach, you opened the season this weekend at uh, Missouri Western. You've got a couple of game, uh, matches scheduled. Um, before we get into those, however, just how are you feeling about your team and uh, the upcoming season? Real good, real good. I feel that, you know, from the start we've had some good practices, and, uh, you know, I feel like the ladies are working hard. Well, I know last year you uh, you didn't win as many matches as you probably hoped, but right. you had a lot of uh, – of younger players who right. got some valuable experience, who you know won some individual matches as the season went on. Um, how, with that experience last year, how do you think that's going to translate into this season? I think good. You know, you know the biggest thing from you know from last year was to see if, if they was going to work over the summer and improve the game in the you know as far as the individual areas. And I think that they did that. You know, for the ones that are coming back, of course, I can start start with Alina Kutrevich, You know. Uh, you know, I can just tell tell right now the things that she has worked on that you know, because uh, she has improved improved a lot. Uh, then of course there's there's a Camaria Bray, you know, uh, vastly improved. I think that her backhand is you know has got a lot better and just being over, overly consistent with her. Uh, also, uh, Jasmine Daniel, you know, also her her as well. I think with, with her it was a serve, and I think you know I can see some improvement there. And the last one is Gabby Quinn. So then when you start looking at them and start saying okay. From where you were last year to where you are right now, the things that you're doing, trying to be as consistent as possible, I have been very pleased. Well, you sort of touched on this, but how have the off-season workouts and practices been going? It's been good. You know, you know, we did not do anything in the uh, fall, so of course, we, we, you know, I was able to go out there and do the in, do the uh, individual workout with, with them, and I thought that that went well as well as our, you know, lifting and running. So you know that went well, and then that just took us right into the uh, spring semester. And then you know, of course, you know, uh, you know, we practice early in the morning at six thirty. You know, you know, I have to get them up, and you know, six thirty to about eight fifteen to eight thirty. And you know, the ladies have uh, really responded real well. So you know, practice has been going along well. I've been very pleased. And then you talked about the four player or the athletes you have returning. Uh, you also have two freshmen on this year's squad. Um, I know you haven't had as much time to right. spend with them, but how have those two uh, women looked so far? Okay, again, you know, as freshmen, you know, because you know you really don't know because they're excited. You know, of, of course we haven't played any yet, but just the fact, of course, let me just mention them: uh, Abigail Gober. You know, she's local from uh, Halas High School here. You know. Uh, you know, she brings a strength in, in terms of serving and, you know, forehand, backhand strokes. And, you know, she's just a solid player. The other one is Ashley Rowland, and uh, she's from Halas High School, too. So, Ashley, I have two uh, locals. And she is just a solid, two, very good backhand, you know, nice, nice serve and the things that she's doing. So, they are going to be a great, great addition to the program. Uh, what for you would uh, be a successful season? Well, you know, one, one thing just always, you know, getting better because, you know, if I start putting on, well, you know, we have to win this this many matches or, so, you know, or so forth and so on, it really doesn't work like that. But if you feel like that, that you're putting in the, the effort, you, you put in the hard work, then, you know, sooner or later, then, you know, you know the uh, matches will start coming in terms of victories and stuff. And I, and I, and I feel like that they're, they are getting there, you know, one uh, you know, one of the biggest things that I've talked about is that mental toughness. One thing in tennis, you know, uh, particularly in singles, you know, you have to be mentally tough. Everything is not going to go your way. You know, you have to make sure that you stay even grounded. If you're doing real well, you know, stay a balance. If things are not going well, just just stay calm because one thing in tennis, you, you have to you have to be. And, and, you know, one thing, watching the Australian Open and, you know, di you know uh, different things that it's about moving your feet getting in position, being as consistent as possible. And I feel like the ladies have been doing that. So, yeah. So, you know, in, in, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, what is successful, well, getting better and then starting to gain the confidence and then starting to put two and two together. And, I, I you know, like I feel like the ladies are doing that. Well, this weekend you're scheduled to play a, a pretty good mix of teams in Maryville and Missouri Western and Newman. Um, not necessarily going into the whole uh, win-loss thing. Uh, what are you hoping to see from your team this weekend? Again, you know, uh, you know, this is probably our fourth or fifth year going, you know, going, going there. One because of the weather, uh, you know, Missouri Western, you know, in St. Joe, you know, they have some indoor courts. Well, it's not actually Missouri Western's indoor courts, but it's in St. Joe, so it allows us to go there and get started. Of course, uh, Newman, Newman used to be in our conference when we was in the Heartland Conference. So, so this is an opponent that I've played played before prior to, and then you know we used to play Morningside. 
out of out of Iowa, but this year is Mary Maryville out of uh, out of St. Louis coming in, you know, to, to play, which is always good, you know. Of course, Missouri Western is there, so it gives us a, a good chance to get kick kickstarted, see where we are, to see the type of you know, and then of course uh, our next match, if if I'm not mistaken, it's not until maybe March the six or something like that. So that gives us maybe a couple weeks to kind of uh, see where we are from from this point down until our next next match. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this weekend. Okay, thank you.